Alrighty, howdy y'all, and welcome back to Death Stranding. Now in today's episode, what we're gonna do is continue. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Continue off. So, so in the last episode, we were here. Welcome. We need to go, um, in our, uh, to our casa, casa. Here, we gotta go to our casa. And we gotta go rest in our private room here. Your work is greatly appreciated. I'm sure it is. You know. You know. With. Dead man, you there? A little help. Okay, sir. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. The BB got a rough. Definitely. Ten. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a PB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. Hmm. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the still mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Hmm. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? <sighs> you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. So, what I don't understand, quite understand, night, is why didn't this thing save? Because wasn't in the last episode we finished this off too? And we, um, went on to the next delivery? I'm thinking so. I am thinking so. Okay, let's go. Then bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Sam? 
Can you see me? Yes, I can see you clearly. Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. Mm -hmm. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No mm -hmm. one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. Mm-mm. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. No escaping the BTs. The BTs are issues. Big issue. I'll be waiting, Sam. Ray Cow. Next. Waiting for you. Come and find me. All right. We already know this because this was in the last episode. Because I remember playing all this. Oh, wait. I did stop right here. That's right. Because I was going to take a shower and then I. Okay. All right. No. My bad. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. Behoove you? Why not take a shower? All right. Let's do that. For the body and soul. And take a shower. My research, as it happens. Let's take share. Take share. Take share. Let's go. Let's freshen it. Okay. Cool deal. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. That'd be nice. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Hmm. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Well. That Time to move on, all right. Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. And I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mm -hmm. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data 
once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. All right. Activate the terminal. All right, what we got here? Mail, here we go, mails. I'll let y'all read that. And, um... Look, we got juice up a bike. That's all I got from this. So, um... I'll just let y'all read that. Y'all can pause the video and read that. That was from Benjamin Hancock at the Distro Center. This is the way station. About the Oxy. Okay. Uh, let's use our music player. This is a music player where you can... Any data you've acquired. Let's go with... I like this one. I like the drones one. <laughs> I got a... I got a trophy. That's a... Try standing still. Interviews. So I'll let y'all read that. That was from the, about the mules. Here's the bridge babies. And then time fall. Be sure to pause it and read all them. I'm not going to. Alright. We're going to go to orders. Take a new order to the distro center. Wait. Hold the phone. Take on a new order at the distro center west of the Knot City. Okay. Leave the private room? Let's go. Out we go. Okay. I wish I had a bike. Sam, out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that. Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. Mm. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. 
To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. <laughs> no one's These were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. Hmm. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. All right, good deal. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. While you're resting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mules, huh? Mules are gonna be dangerous. Alright, the printer stuff and the Cairo crystals. That is going backwards. This is going forwards. So we're gonna go forwards instead of backwards. Or we can select both of them. And get them both at, at the same exact time. So, we're going to do the printer stuff. We're going to do the printer junk. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. Ooh. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Exactly. All right, I take it we're about good. We're only at twenty-four. I should, I'll take I'll take on that uh, other one. Since we're only at twenty-four, I'll take on the the other crystals it's for the same dude. Yeah, I'll do I'll do both of them. So I'll go back before it because it's closer. Mama's added a watchtower. Try fabricating one. Good deal. Let's go. Head on out onto the wild blue yonder. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Yeah. That's cool. That cool. Uh, uh, allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks of the room tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most mm. commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm. Rain, yep. floating rocks, golden handprint. Rain, rocks, flame print. print. Golden. Look Good. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. Okay. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you will know where to look. Alright. Yep, back behind this. Alright. Alright. Order number seven. 
We're gonna go get out of the mules. Oh. Ah, baby, blessing. Alright! Whoa, there's so much stuff everywhere. Alright. Okay, so. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna do. So the crystals are closer, but the. Ah, we'll be a crystal collectors. Ah. Uh, we'll go, we'll do this one first. In the next episode, we will do the. The other thing. And so this away. Wait, it is it is this way, right? Yeah, it is. All right, so we're gonna want to follow this dude. Weapons restrictions lifted. Weapons restrictions. We ain't got no weapons. I'm gonna go up this way. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Hmm. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. Go. Cool. But be careful. These guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. They're armed and I'm not. Attack hit square to knock him unconscious. Okay. Well, I just biffed it. It's okay. Wake up! Oh, I'm not gonna shake him to death. Alright. A string can be used quickly to render uh, things unconscious. Pre prepare your strand and that blinds an enemy. All right, go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. A shout in the dark. I wonder what that means. Okay, what does this do? Yeah. Means go up. Somebody left me something. You're a good dude. Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Here's the one. A well placed watchtower can be vulnerable. Equip PCC. Prepare your watchtower. Go to watchtower. Because there obviously ain't one here. Build a watchtower for recon. Ball. Okay. Um. Oh, I bet the. Post box. 
Oopsie. I'm gonna put it right here. Got a structure detected nearby. I'm gonna go right here if we can, right? Go right here. Meals are gonna be dangerous, dudes. Oh, this is cool. Market, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, market. What's this, dude? Tall grass. need this mm -hmm. I feel like I got rid of it metals offload be undone. I keep forgetting to hit confirm. Alright, let's go. Good people's helping me. Just going to follow the people's path.
free to use. What's free to use? Alright, so our thing is like right down there. Crouching can help you reduce the sound of footsteps. <gasps> Holding your breath will make it even harder to detect you. So, like, that's a mule there, right? That is a mule right there. Sneak on in here. Can we just take all this? <laughs> Hold on, let's carry multiple. Got the printers and out we go. All right. I just wish I had a bike to get out of here with. Got a crap ton of material on my back. If we get up there to my little drop box thing, we're good. Activate a terminal. Make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. I do want interest. Thank you. Sorry. All 
Hey, this is in here, right? This is in, right? This is... And trust cargo, done. Building bridges, I got no trophy because I trusted other people. Down we go. That's the distro place right there. Center, we can run, 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 run to get here. Beginning scan. Scan bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Make delivery! Deliver requested cargo. Upgrade my boots. Sam, how your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble. You can fabricate another by a terminal at one of our many facilities. Oh, nice. Sweet. Good work, Sam. Seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Okay. Getting all sorts of trophies today. See you. I done got like four trophies today. Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach. Enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, 
Some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. Hmm. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Alrighty, we got... Alrighty, so we got them map printer parts. I will be seeing y'all in the next episode of Death Stranding. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell to get notified on all my upcoming videos. I will be seeing y'all in the next episode. Bye bye and take care. Why is all, all these. All the blinds are really getting on my nerves. Alright, next we're probably going to go get all these ores. And, um. So. The crystals and stuff. So, I will be seeing y'all in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell to get notified on all my upcoming videos. So, I will be seeing y'all in the next episode of Death Stranding. Bye-bye, and take care.